All right, a little late, but I guess it's preview time. I drop the Miami Dolphins preview video every Wednesday on game weeks, and then I react right after the game, yada yada, subscribe, okay. Um, I think a lot of Dolphins fans are feeling super down right now, so I'm going to lose some traction, but for the fans that are still tuning in, uh, they're probably looking for someone to say that this season isn't over and that there's hope. Well, as Alan Poupart, Dolphins beat writer, put it, I try not to watch the Dolphins as a fan, but as someone who just analyzes the team Therefore, hopefully, my fandom doesn't get in the way from me looking at things for what they really are, and hopefully it causes me not to speak from my heart, but from my mind. And because of that, I cannot tell you that the season isn't a wash. Obviously, there's games that still have to be played. Uh, Hopefully, there'll be some good moments, and there's going to be some bad moments. I mean, hopefully at least some good moments, but no matter what, I'll certainly still be rooting for the guys because this loyalty runs deep. So if it's going to be Skylar Thompson, I'm behind him 100%. That being said, uh, what I find most upsetting right now, and I'm sure you all do too, is that it finally felt like after 25 years of searching for a quarterback, we finally got a guy. And I'll be honest with y'all, it it doesn't feel that way anymore. Um, I can't honestly say I feel that way. As much as I like Tua, I wanted him in the draft, man. Shit, I wanted him in 2018. Alright? I just don't see how we can move forward as a franchise with him as the quarterback. I hope he's alright, but look, I'm looking at this from a franchise perspective. And look, Tua has won. He's won in real life. He uh, made it past the hip injury. He wasn't even supposed to play again. He comes back. He gets a contract in the NFL. Proves the doubters wrong to an extent. And, you know, his family's set for life. So, you know, and his career is not over. His story hasn't been written yet. I'm just speaking from a franchise standpoint for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, That being said, all right, there's no other player in the NFL where every time they get hit, you clench your teeth together, just waiting for that next injury. Uh, Tua got hurt in week two of 2021, his first full season. Uh, Then week three of 2022, the first concussion that they called a back injury. It obviously was a concussion looking back on it. And now week two, 2024, yet another concussion. And this is a level of instability you just can't move forward with if you want to win a Super Bowl, right? This team needs to look elsewhere next season. At at least they have to sink good money into a backup. And, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, thank you, Seattle fans, for letting me vent. I know I I literally didn't talk about the game yet at all to this point, but I had to get that off my chest for the people, man, for the people. Anyways, where we last left off in the Skylar Thompson Sega was in the playoffs over a season ago. And I'll tell you, what I've seen from Skylar Thompson is that he's very indecisive. It seems like he's scared to let the ball go most of the time, and hopefully that's been fixed. Uh, I don't know if it has been. Uh, The preseason isn't a very good indicator because it's just so hard to tell with the vanilla offense and defense what Skyler can do, but hopefully he has gotten that fixed. I know he's said his uh, timing is his biggest... uh, the biggest improvement he's made in his game per himself. But if not, I would assume it's all going to fall apart. And as for Seattle, they're 2-0. Uh, the wins they do have are tight ones against Denver and then an overtime win against the Patriots. So they're a good team. They aren't fantastic. Their offensive line has struggled. They do have DK Metcalf, though, and, and that terrifies me as... Uh, a defensive mind because you know these these blitz packages that Weaver likes to run 
opens up a possibility of single coverage for Metcalf. I don't know if there's a corner in the league that's stopping Metcalf's big ass from fucking catching a jump ball. I mean, that dude could go up and get him. He's fast, great route runner. Uh, I'm surprised he's not a top three receiver, honestly. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how this team responds to real major adversity. Uh, They could roll over. They could feel bad for themselves. Or everyone can pick it up. And the Miami Dolphins could win a game when nobody expects them to win. Uh, That being said... Uh, until I see it, I can't tell you that I think the Dolphins are going to win. I'm predicting Seattle to win this game. Uh, let's go 30 to 20. Uh, I don't know what I said in my other video, but th- that's my prediction right now on the spot. Seattle 30 to 20. Uh, it's going to be tough for the Dolphins, man. It's going to be tough. Uh, hopefully, uh, they could atone for... Uh, that last game against Buffalo, and hopefully Skylar Thompson rips three touchdowns. So we're coming back. Everyone's amazed. Everyone's back on the wagon. We're feeling good. I mean, the only way the Miami Dolphins can hear this uh, sadness that we're all feeling is by winning. And uh, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm sorry it's not under more bubbly circumstances, but... I think uh, when I make these Dolphin videos, they reflect where we are as a franchise. And when things are down, they're down, right? I mean, for me personally, I'm cool. But, you know, for when I'm talking to the fans, look, we all feel it. Everyone feels it. Go Go on Dolphins Twitter and you'll see, I mean, as much cope as the fans like to huff. You could just look at it and tell it's pretty clear that we're, uh... We're in a tough spot right now, but keep your head up, Fins fans. I'm sure uh, eventually at some point everything will be all right, but, you know, we'll see what happens Sunday. It could be a a good step in the direction to a cure for the disease that is the Miami Dolphins crushing our hopes and dreams very early into the season. All right, that's it.